It's time for your... Hey everybody, what's happening? I hope you had a great weekend. I apologize for not doing my Monday morning mindset the last two weeks. I have no excuses whatsoever. I just didn't do them. Maybe I got lazy or whatever. But anyway, I'm back here today and I just want to reach out to you to encourage you to stay focused, stay on track, keep your head on right. And if, you know, if you're doing the Saba 60, continue to do it. Stay on the plan the way it's written. If you're doing the 224 Forever Weight Loss Program, same goes for you. Stay on the page, stay motivated, stay connected with people. Because weight loss truly is about really having an accountability partner. And I know from experience by managing these pages that I've had the privilege to over the years that there is definitely success in numbers. So the more we connect with each other, the better off we're going to be. But anyway, I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about something that happened this weekend. Uh, you may have seen on my page, I posted a reference to a young man in the fitness industry by the name of Greg Plitt, who is no longer with us. Greg was out filming a video near a, rain, uh, a train track and somehow stumbled onto the train track, fell. The reports say he, he tripped and fell onto the train track. And uh, needless to say, he's not here anymore. And the fitness community is absolutely turned upside down as a result of losing this iconic young man. I mean, he was very motivating. He was encouraging. He touched the lives, literally, of millions of people from California to... Canada to Ireland, you name it. This guy has been all over the map with his unique brand of motivation and encouragement. But the thing that I really want to talk about is, you know, the more I sit here and, and reflect on what this guy's done, and then I see other things on the internet. I'm seeing all this outpouring of love to this guy that is well-deserved, absolutely. But on the other side, I see things, people who don't know him, that are carrying on with their normal lives. And, and what I see is people wasting a lot of time on meaningless things that don't amount to anything in life. Bitching and complaining and griping and yelping about things that don't matter. Man, my encouragement right now, having the time to have reflected how short life is, 37 years. This guy packed in a lot of life in 37 years, so that's one part of, you know, a silver lining, I guess, is the fact that the guy truly lived, and he left a legacy that will long live past his passing. I mean, the guy's going to be around for a long time, but it's just, it's so upsetting to me to see people who are blessed, people who have so much, making so much money, doing so many good things in life. Yet they spend so much time on social media bitching and complaining about useless, meaningless things. So if you don't like what I'm saying, listen, you don't have to watch my videos ever again. I don't care. You can unfriend me, move on with your life. That's great because I'm not interested in people who don't want to move forward in their life. That's what I'm all about. That's what I want to do. That's why I'm here. And because I've sat here all weekend and thought about this, you know, it gives me more resolve to continue to do what I do. And that's live my life to the fullest and not sit here and complain about stupid stuff that doesn't matter and worrying about things that don't amount to anything. So I want to encourage you today to take a look at your life and, and maybe take inventory of some of the things that you worry about, you gripe about, you complain about, you bitch about you argue with your spouse about, you yell at your kids, you know, over stuff that doesn't matter, man. Choose your battles. Choose the things that you want to do in your life so your life is full of joy. It's full of happiness. It's full of giving back to people and touching people's lives. I'm not trying to preach at you. This is just where I'm at. And like I said, if you don't like it, that's okay. I really don't care. So with that said, you guys know how I am. You know how I feel. You know what I want to do. I want to encourage you to live a life that's the fullest life you can live. So with that said, whatever that means to you, go out and do it. Go out and do it today. Start today and take inventory and start weeding out the things that are useless and taking time away from your life that, you know, aren't making you happy. Be happy. Stay motivated. Stay encouraged. And as always, make it a great day.